Hi and welcome to the tie chest. Today we're going to talk about the snap style cufflinks. These type of cufflinks were really popular in the 1920s going into the 30s. Very typical of the Art Deco style. So as you can see um, they're very simple, simply made. They're kind of just like a snap button. Uh, but they're very nicely decorated. Lots of mother of pearl, celluloid, and many companies produced these, um, these type of cufflinks. So this is a good example. This is by, this is a come apart by Swank or ba Bayer and Wild. So if you can see underneath inside, you'll see it's written come apart. These are highly collectible, a lot of really nice designs. So Bayer and Wild is the company that became Swank. Here's a mother of pearl. These are really much more common with the decorated frame here. Um, and these ones here are signed. Um, and all they say, they don't actually have any signatures. I'll just say patented in 1920. So we don't know who made those, but these came, these were pretty widely spread. They would come with the um, matching shirt studs that you find a lot of. So these are kind of the more common ones you'll find. This is another neat design. It's got the purple with some iridescent, I don't think that's mother of pearl, maybe celluloid or something, I'm not sure. But anyways, inside you'll see this one says one piece made in USA. So no company name, just um, this one piece thing, but a really cool design. I love the purple color. This is another one you'll see a lot of, um, the, the mother of pearl and the celluloid, typical Art Deco design. And this one is written Snap Link, signed Snap Link. You'll find that a lot. Um, I believe it might have come from a wholesale catalog where it says Snap Link, but a lot of different um, designs. What This is a really nice um, shaped one with the mother of pearl inside and these are unsigned. You can see the brass through there. But really pretty, very elegant. And um, you'll also find some of these initial ones, kind of an Asian inspired. Really nice. Um, these aren't signed either. I'm not sure which company made these, but if you find your own initials in these, it's just awesome. That's an S. So these are kind of the typical type of um, snap cufflinks that you'll find. Now I brought three special ones here in the back row that I want to show you because they open a little bit differently and they make them really unusual and really, really interesting. This first one here is called a twin latch and you see how it's not perfectly straight. You've got these little latches here. So when I, I bought these from an antique shop in Niagara on the lake and we the lady couldn't figure out how to get these open for the life of her. So after fiddling a bit, we finally figured out you have to press these little levers, but you have to press both of them at the same time in order to release the mechanism. Okay, so there you see it. It says um, twin latch patented. And then you just push them back together. So you actually have to push not one, but both of them at the same time to release the, um, the latch, which makes it really interesting. This one here um, is this called a stay locked. And these are quite popular and quite desirable by collectors as well. You'll see there's a little knob on top here. And what you need to do is you don't push it, but you actually have to stick your nails in between and pull it out to release. Okay, so you can see that says patented and stay locked. So that's how you open those. If you try to pull this way, you'll just break it. It won't open. And the last pair I want to show you looked, it looks exactly like the stay locked. However, you can't pull the knob up. You have to push this one down you push it in and it'll release. And these ones are marked correct do lock. So could be a predecessor of the Crements or a, a, a sub company of the Crements 
company because they did a lot of correct quality um, marks on their jewelry. And to push it back in, you have to push the knob in. So you'd push to release, push the little circle. And then to put it back together, you have to push the circle again to have it click back. So these I find really interesting because of the way they're made. These three pairs are actually on um, for sale right now in our shop. And depending on when you watch this video, they might be sold out or not. I'll put those links below. And if you're interested, go check them out. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to um, get uh, more information like this one. So thanks for watching. Talk to you later.